So you got some praise from Lincoln last night on the Trojans Live. Oh, yeah? Uh, what do you feel you've shown this, this spring? How have you kind of zoned from last year? Um, I think the big thing would be my, just my confidence in my play, just trusting my technique. Uh, we've been making you know, just going out there and just, you know, whatever what happens, happens. You know, if you mess up, go to the next play, just keep on playing. Uh, the, the move to guard, has that been good for you? No, I've, I've liked it. It's given me a chance to, you know, it kind of changes your mind a little bit when you look at the game, you know. I think it gave me a chance to, you know, I mean, definitely compared to center, you, you don't think you don't think about it as much. You know, you're not making the calls, you're not thinking about the formation or anything like that. But it's given me a chance to, you know, just focus on my technique. And, you know, it's given me a different perspective of the whole game. When you were at Broken, you played left tackle and guard. I did. Was there a yeah. lot of mental recall coming back to this? Or was it just a little bit. I mean, it's 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 hard to say. Like, oh yeah, it definitely has because you know, at the end of the day, it's like it is high school, so you know, college was a lot different, but. I would say, yeah, it just gave me a little bit of a reminiscence of the past. What did it look like for you? Where did you see it? So, word is, yeah. word is kind of coming um, out, but I think it's always just the offensive line aspects. might have lost another player. The way the way court court the the How does that uh, open up like extra time for you and the rest of the time? I mean, that class that you guys player, came in together, it's yeah. four of you left. What is, yeah. what is that? When you look back at that, uh, details and things like you're that, one of the last guys around. You know, as a, as a person, yeah, I mean, as a teammate on and off the field, you, you're, you, know, you kind of build a bomb with your class after your uh, freshman uh, year, so it always it always sucks to see people go. And, but, I mean, they're chasing their future, and they think what's, what's best for them, you know. And if that's what they think is best, then I, I wish them more of luck, you know. But, you know, it always sucks to see them go. You're messing with that. But, you know, I'll be ready for it. But as terms of playing time, we'll see, we'll see how that works with Coach Henson. You know, he's going to look at you know, look at the depth chart and whatever decision he decides. You know, that's, that's what we're going with. So are you strictly playing at guard and tackle, or are you still working at the center as well? Uh, I'm, at, I'm at guard and center. Did he specifically talk to you guys about it? Like, did he uh, bring you guys together and, uh, like, have that conversation with you all? About what? Uh, according to Ford? Um... We uh, we talked about it as a line, and but uh, yeah, but again, it's just when you build a bond with him, he's one of my best friends. You know, I love him to death, and I wish nothing but the absolute best for him. How's that transition going? When the guys from the transfer portal, how are you working out with them? How's that chemistry coming along? Yeah, it's going great. I'd say side Jared, Jared, you know, from Wazoo, we kind of got to get to know each other a lot uh, over over the uh, winter conditioning. Um, I think he's a great guy, really great teammate, good player, great player, and uh, I'm excited to play with him in the uh, season. You know, uh, Mike, Mike is awesome. Uh, he arrived a little bit later than Jarrett, I think. He was there like a week later. Gotten to know him. Um, again, great guy. Uh, get to really, really get to know him over spring ball, both of them. Both tremendous players. And uh, can't wait to play with him in the season. Lincoln Riley talked about how last year getting both plated had a different standard compared to this year. Ooh. Yeah. Maybe yeah, might, I mean, maybe those you can't be specific, but what are some of the things you're playing that board uh, you know, um, really, uh, I think them, I think competition and you know, always showing up to play, yeah. being attentive, you know, being in the moment, uh, being a playmaker. I mean, all, all those things are kind of incorporated when you know whether it's decided who's goal player or who's not. I think. You know, the standard, the standard never stays the same, you know. It, it's always going to get higher and higher. I mean, just, you know, compared to last yeah, year, I mean, since he got here last compared to where we were two years ago, I mean, obviously, you know, the standards change. The culture's always, you know, the culture stays the same, but the standard doesn't change. Yeah, so, yeah. Um, who's, been some of the, who's been some of the people on the defense that's that have kind of stood, stood out here in the spring? Oh, man. Um... I think from this year to last year, who I think has really stood out, I think Kobe's gotten really, yeah, Kobe Pepe, um, I think I'd he's gotten really good. Through, through that, um, you know, he's, through the time and the reps and us being together, he felt like I, I think that's, process, I think one of the ones really stuck more, out compared to last year because, you know, uh, Kobe didn't get a lot of playing time last year and he's really competed his, his butt off and he's really he's done, done really well. What are, some of the things that, today. what are some of the things that he's done in the spring that kind of make him stand out? Um, I think just, you know, it's, it's just constantly going after the ball, getting yeah, after it. I mean, obviously and, we're uh, I mean it's definitely noticed as an O-line. We've got 
um, a defender you know, in front of you and he's you know, going as hard as he can. To learn from so him you had a scrim setting this past Saturday and Lincoln Riley talked about how the defense kept the offense scoreless for like six or seven drives. Well, what are some of the, what you say? Okay. Lincoln Riley talked about how the defense kept the offense scoreless for like six or seven drives in the scrimmage yeah. on Saturday. What was going on out there? You know, I think uh, the main emphasis on both sides of the ball is that you know, we're going to compete okay. and it's going to be a uh, that's like the main thing of the spring ball is like we're going to go hard every practice. I mean, I think we've had two practices so far in the ball spring ball where, you know, we've been home with the rest of it full pads and, you know, we've been going hard the whole time. So, you know, but most of all the practices have been going back and forth and, you know, it's been a lot of fun. We're all getting better. What have, what have you learned from Jared King Kingston this spring? What you say? What have you learned from Kingston this spring? Um, I think just... Look, looking at his form and then, you know, when we're in the film room, looking at the decision he makes, you know, looking at his technique, just, yeah, I mean, learning from him has been really, really good. And then obviously just playing guard and Coach Hetz has been a tremendous help. Just always paying attention, always taking coaching tips. But with Jerry, you know, he came from Wazoo. I, I believe he played tackle, is that mm -hmm. right, correct? Last year. Yep. Last year, yeah. But, I mean, I, he's had he's had reps at both, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 Just, you know. I would say just kind of shout with him at the beginning and, you know, kind of trying to find my way around it, learn from, learn from him. It's been a tremendous help.